Hello, Double E. It's Mr. Formato here. Staying safe in my classroom, which is a little bit chilly. I have a quick overview of Mission Garden Light for you, and I hope you uh, watch carefully, take notes as we go. So this is the circuit diagram for Mission Garden Light. It's a circuit whose basic element is a, is a voltage divider uh, arranged in a pretty clever way. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna take you through the circuit from left to right. For, on the left here, we have a solar panel. The solar panel will develop a voltage from top to bottom during the day. Now during the day, that will provide charge that will charge up our rechargeable battery. And what's interesting about our voltage divider here is that it could, if we had arranged it otherwise, make the, this LED array light, but we've got this voltage divider here and a very special voltage controlled switch here called a transistor that's going to be in the off position during the day. So again, you, uh, we're, we see the transistor and the transistor is essentially behaving like a voltage controlled switch. So that switch is off, the switch is open during the day, which means that the uh, solar panel will not be causing the LEDs to light. On the other hand, they, it will be causing the battery to charge. So the question is, how do we get this switch to close at night and make it so that the LEDs will conduct electricity? Well, what we have to do is we have to get the voltage at the base of the transistor to go from low to high, okay? We want the transistor's voltage to go from low during the day to high at night. Now you guys know quite a bit about photoresistors now, so I'm going to leave it to you to figure out how that happens. But in essence, the solar panel does not charge, excuse me, does not power the LEDs during the daytime because the transistor is, is an open switch, it's, it's in the off position. And then when night falls, the voltage at the base of the transistor changes such that it, the transistor acts as a closed switch. Let me step you through what, um, what that might look like sort of in the uh, electrons, all right? So on the left here, I've got my solar panel. And on the right here, I've got my uh, rechargeable battery. Now, I've got my voltage divider here. Remember, my, my photocell is the bottom part of my voltage divider. This, this is my transistor where the base, B, is plugged into the, the midpoint of the voltage divider. Okay. Now, you can see here that my LED array is showing on. So apparently, this is the behavior of the circuit at nighttime. And you can see that that makes sense because, as you remember, the photocell has a high resistance when it's dark, okay? The photocell has a high resistance when it's dark. So in this scenario, the voltage at the base of the uh, transistor or the voltage at the midpoint of the voltage divider is high. And that's how you get transistors to turn on. So let's take a look at what, what happens here. Okay, so now you can, let, let's ignore what's happening here at my I guess if it's nighttime, I should put this voltage to zero. Sorry, let me do that. Okay, so this is the nighttime behavior. I've got a high value of my uh, photocell resistance. I've got a voltage at my base that's high relative to the midpoint of, of what the voltage would be, and that's gonna turn the transistor on, and that's gonna create a closed loop with the rechargeable batteries, okay? Okay, so now let's say daytime, uh, the sun rises, the, the photocell's resistance is going to drop down to let's say 60 ohms, I'm just saying approximately. You can see that my LEDs have turned off because the voltage at the base of the transistor has gone basically to zero because of the way I've made my voltage divider. The other thing that happens during the day is that the solar cell is now generating some voltage and that's going to charge up my battery but it still doesn't light the LEDs because of the way I've set up my transistor switch. Lastly, I just wanna point out that when it's nighttime and the voltage here is zero 
and the value here is high such that the um, the LEDs are on, you'll notice that the battery is not charging the uh, solar panel, which it actually could if we um, if we didn't have this diode here. Okay. So, anyways, that's the overview, and uh, I hope you enjoy this mission. It's a pretty neat one. What would I give?